much fun. Skateboarding is the greatest sport ever. Get your head in the game on Disney Channel. The students of Seven Seas High are rocking the boat. Get on board for Sweet Life on Deck. Next on Disney Channel's Friday Night. Three brothers shared one big dream. They never imagined they would live it. Disney Channel's taking you on tour to Europe with Jonas Brothers. No, 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 no. Go behind the scenes. Get up close. It's going to be awesome. Madrid. Madrid. And see them like you've never seen them before. You guys excited to play? Jonas Brothers living the dream. New episode Sundays at 8.55, 7.55 Central on Disney Channel. Now let's get back to Hannah Montana on Disney Channel. Don't move. The Sweet Life on Deck will be right back on Disney Channel. Something strange is going on during Disney Channel's Friday night. First on Back to Back, all new Wizards. <laughs> A rockin' band has an odd influence on Harper. I built three bookshelves and I'm busting it apart! Ah! But not everyone is in a dancing mood. You tricked me, didn't you? This band isn't gonna play smooth jazz. Then is Alex's new bestie. Looks like Stevie and Alex are getting pretty close. Pushing someone over the edge? Who says you can't stop time? And on Phineas and Ferb, Candace is in it to win it. Voting pep squad mobile. Go! What is her teammate a total dud? Last place? Nice try? Dad, those trophies are lame. Then, robots falling from the sky. Cool. Think again, bucko. Mom said no touchy touchy. But what does this mechanical thingamabob do? Oh. So not a wedgie machine? Get to the bottom of it all with Disney Channel's Friday Night. New Wizards and Phineas and Ferb. Next Friday, starting at 8, 7 Central. Here's your new Disney music playlist from the recording studio with some of the Disney Channel stars you'll hear on the 15-song Disney Mania 7 CD, out now. Lost forever, you were always there beside me. Disney Mania 7 is basically a bunch of artists are coming together to either recreate Disney classics or new classics songs, and we're all kind of putting our own individual spin on it. Some of them are really fun and upbeat, like If I Never Knew You, the song that I did, I made it a slow ballad with a bit of a romantic feel. This is kind of a, a big breakout music thing. I'm so excited to be a part of Disney Mania 7. I'm still in shock that I get to be on the same CD as the other artists, but it's been a great experience. I'm really grateful for it. You were always there beside me. I sing what I've been looking for as sung by Ryan and Sharpe Evans in High School Musical. And my version is more laid back, softer, sweeter vocals. Trust in me. I sing Trust in Me. That was in the Jungle Book by the uh, serpent, so basically I'm a snake uh, <laughs> performing this song. I chose this song because I thought it was really different than any other song that I performed, and I was able to go into the studio and kind of do my own thing with it. The vibe of Disney Mania 7, it has something for everyone's musical taste, and you can tell that everyone who sings on it loves what they're singing. The Disney Mania 7 CD is out now, and that's what's on your Disney music playlist on Disney Channel. Sundays on Disney Channel. Meet PJ and Gabe Duncan. Does it look like I'm going bald? It's tempting to say yes, so yes. Two brothers with big ideas. Time to train Charlie for the baby race. I thought the baby race was going to be you and him in diapers. And hundreds of ways to get into trouble. What's going on here? PJ, you want to take that one? No, I'll take the next one. PJ and Gabe Duncan. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. Sundays at 8.30, 7.30 Central on Disney Channel. Well, we've done Epcot. What's next? Disney Parks and Verizon. Proud sponsors of Family Time on Disney Channel, in the Magic Kingdom, and in your neighborhood. Everything starts with a single step. So imagine what a million steps in the right direction can do. That's what Disney's Friends for Change is all about. Friends everywhere all taking steps in the right direction to help the planet. This time, we're going to take the steps to reduce waste. So what are our first steps? Well, we can bottle it, recharge it, and loop it. Bottle it. 
Use reusable bottles of water instead of buying disposable ones every day. Recharge it. Replace your batteries and your toys or games with rechargeable ones. Loop it. Let's close the loop by keeping recycling bins at our homes. Make sure what comes around comes around again. If you log on and register at Disney.com slash Friends for Change, you'll learn about all these and many, many more ways you can help. When it comes to reducing waste, there's one thing we can't afford to waste. Time. Send it on. Let's sail on back to the sweet life on deck on Disney Channel. Don't swim away. We'll be right back with the sweet life on deck. It's coming. The movie events you've been waiting for. Camp Rock 2, the final jam. And the best way to get ready is watch Camp Rock. We're here. This is not amateur night. Your music, it's got to show how you feel. Or it doesn't mean anything. Sunday, get ready to rock with a movie that started the jam. It's Disney Channel's original movie, Camp Rock. Sunday at 9, 8 central on Disney Channel. We rock, we rock, we rock. Get connected, log on. Where we connect with the latest Disney game. On EP. This episode of Get Connected has been invaded by salty old sea pirates. Well, then roll that door up low, Captain. <laughs> we met up with Alberto Campo at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. He's one of the game producers who helped create the virtual world of Pirates of the Caribbean Online. So is Pirates of the Caribbean Online really inspired by both the attraction and the movie? Yeah, we definitely tried to take the most fun aspects from the movies and the ride, and we put them into this online virtual world. The attraction was built in 1967, and it was one of the last rides that Walt Disney personally designed. Do you guys want to go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask. We have a lot of the pirates from the movies, as well as from the ride. We have Will Turner. We have Jack Sparrow. We even have Jack the Monk, which oh. is really cool. But my favorite is Jolly Roger. Are there different locations to sail to? We've got 15 islands in our game, and a lot of them are inspired by actual islands. We have Port Royal, Tortuga, and we even have Cuba. You start off as a novice pirate with uh, little more than a name, and what you want to do is you want to pretty much become the most notorious pirate in all of the Caribbean. You got to sail, plunder, loot your way up to the top. Alberto told us if you want to be a good game designer, it helps to have both art and computer skills. He also showed us some upcoming mini games that he and his team had just finished designing. We've got one potion that'll actually let you run faster. We have some other ones that'll level up your swords to make them even more powerful. Are there any hidden Easter eggs? One of our favorite four-legged canine friends here in the ride makes an appearance in Outcast Island, but you gotta look really hard for him because he's pretty well hidden. That's all we needed to hear. We thanked Alberto with a hearty yo-ho and set sail once again, this time on Pirates of the Caribbean Online. See you next time when we get connected. Brought to you by Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Traded E10 Plus. Ready to get spellbound? The Wizards of Waverly Place are waving their wands next. Right here on Disney Channel's Friday Night. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm 12. And this is the time I won the science fair. I wanted to do something I was really into. My dad had a friend who was a beekeeper. I asked if I could use one of his empty hives for my project. I got books from the library and stuffed my brain until it was buzzing with all the stuff I knew about bees. I started seeing bee facts everywhere. On the day of the science fair, I loaded on my booth with all the work I'd done. Then the judges came and asked me a bunch of questions. What is honeycomb made of? Beeswax. How long does a queen bee live? Up to five years. I knew the answers to almost all of them. I was having so much fun showing everyone my booth, I totally forgot it was a contest until the judges announced the winners. And I won first place. First place. Everybody told me it was because I did so much hard work on my project. But the truth is, when you're into something, it isn't work. It's fun. You just watched a TTI on Disney Channel. All aboard! We're back with the Sweet Life on Deck here on Disney Channel. I'm David Henry from Wizards of Waverly Place, and you're watching Disney Channel. 